The Brainwave's V100 are a pair of IEMs at around $60. They are fairly inexpensive, but are they any good? Let's find out. I'll begin with what you get in the box. I'll then talk about the sound and comfort and finish off with what I like and don't like about them. Inside the box, you get a carrying case that houses everything for the earphones. The carrying case is mainly black, but has some red accents at and around the zippers. Inside the carrying case, you have the B100s themselves, which are wrapped around a Velcro strap with the Brainwaves logo. You also get a clip to be able to attach them to your shirt. There are several earphone tips at different sizes and a pair of premium ear tips from Comply. Lastly, you have some paperwork. The sound of the B100s is quite neutral. The bass is nice and controlled, but there is a noticeable lack of it. This, however, means that it doesn't interfere much, if at all, with the mids. The mids and highs work quite well with each other. I really enjoyed using the B100s with classical music as well as rock and metal. They bring a nice clarity to each instrument, which work well with the surprisingly open soundstage for earphones at least. Don't expect this to be open back, over the ear headphones type of open soundstage. Each instrument was also very well defined, and I never felt like one instrument was overpowering the others. For EDM, rap, and other pop music, the B100s still work well, but like I said, it doesn't have the same effect simply due to that lacking bass. Vocals, especially female vocals, sounded very clear. Lastly, the B100s work well to monitor audio due to its neutral sound and above average noise isolation. The B100s are comfortable, but I found them to not be comfortable right out of the box. The B100s have a design in which the cable gets wrapped around and tucked behind your ear. Because of this design, on top of the cable there is this kind of stiff casing around the cable which is supposed to help with the cable going around your ear. This casing however didn't fit my ear at first. After wearing the earphones for several hours a day over several days, they adjusted to my ear more and are now very comfortable. Also, if you've never used over the ear earphones, they may be a bit weird at first but you'll get used to it. Lastly, if you wear glasses, the B100s can get quite uncomfortable if you have them on for too long. So not for what I like. What I like the most is the versatility. You can easily use them for music, audio monitoring, and even audio editing. Also, the cable has a nice sturdy rubbery feel to it. The included ear tubes from Comply are also a nice touch. They are made of some kind of memory foam, making them very comfortable and isolating. Also, they stay in place. I use them while running and doing other physical activities and they never got loose or came off. Lastly, the included case actually feels durable and sturdy. It's not a soft carrying pouch. Not for what I didn't like. My biggest complaint is how uncomfortable they get when using them while wearing glasses. This is such a huge letdown as I was close to making the B100s my daily driver. Your mileage may vary though as I have above average ear size. Also, the piece that houses the actual drivers has a cheap plasticky feel to it. Lastly, the 3.5mm is housing a thick rubber which is a double edged sword because it adds to the durability but don't plan on using them with a phone that's in the case. Overall, I like the B100s. They have a good sound and with all the included extra, it makes it a overall good package. Anyways, what are your thoughts on around the ear earphones? Let me know in the comments. Lastly, if there's a particular tech product you would like me to review, leave any suggestions down in the comments or ask me on Twitter. Like this video if you like more reviews, subscribe for additional tech videos. Adios!